How's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to Virtually Chris, a new YouTube channel dedicated to VR news and reviews. Look at my dog back there. Is that crazy? Why is he in here? I don't know. Uh, anyway, this week was E3, so a lot of news happened and let's jump right into it. All right, so this week, Oculus announced 30 games will be launched for Oculus Touch later this year, with 20 being completely new experiences. These are games such as Super Hot VR, which is, you know, super hot in VR. That will be pretty darn fun. As well as Wilson's Heart, which seems pretty interesting. It seems to be a mystery horror game. There's also Rip Coil, which looks to be a Pong-based VR game, which, you know, I mean, pretty basic, but it actually does look pretty darn fun. And then there's also Killing 4 Insurgent, which is a survival horror game. They also showed off several games that have already been announced for Oculus Touch, such as The Unspoken, which is going to be super fun. That magic-style PvP game looks really cool. They also showed off their first party game, Dead and Buried, which also looks very fun. It looks like a arcade style shooter and it looks very fun. I love the multiplayer aspect of it. So let's hope Oculus releases some social features by then. In other news, PlayStation VR now has a release date of October 13, 2016. And uh, Sony showed off a number of games at E3 that will be released with PlayStation VR, which is said to have 50 games released by the end of this year. Uh, from what I've heard and seen, games like Arkham VR and Final Fantasy don't really live up to the hype, uh, but they are big franchises getting into VR for the first time. So obviously these games are still in development, and let's hope they get better before they get released, because we don't want games that just have the big names but don't deliver. Bethesda has announced two VR experiences, Fallout VR and Doom. Doom VR appears to be a short experience uh, that probably won't be turned into a game. It's hard to tell at this point, they haven't really said too much about it. Well, Fallout VR is going to be the full game converted for VR. That is going to be so cool. I really hope they nail this one. And Fallout VR is coming out in 2017 for the HTC Vive. The final thing I wanted to talk about this week was posted, I think, yesterday on the Oculus forums. and. It's that Valve has now got Oculus Touch working with Steam VR, and uh, Reality Check VR confirmed this with his video, which uh, I will have on screen and links below. And that is super exciting because that basically means any Vive game will uh, automatically work with Oculus Touch, and that'll keep Steam as the Steam for VR, if you will. I think they're really trying to keep it open and sell as many games as possible because that is what Valve does, they just sell games. So I think that is very good news for the entire VR community and I don't know how Oculus is going to respond to this, that's probably why they're trying to do all these timed exclusives uh, to keep people on the Oculus Home platform. I really hope that Oculus just makes Oculus Home more social, that's what everyone wants and I think that would be how they could beat Valve uh, in terms of the content race if you could you know meet up with your friends before games and lobbies and things like that so and I mean we'll see what happens but uh, anyway that was it for this week in VR <laughs> thank you so much for watching this has been virtually Chris I hope you enjoyed my first ever video I will see you guys next week or before that if I do a review or something so bye <laughs>